We're back with our two embossments. We're gonna take one of those embossments and I put it on this board and we're gonna add watercolor to it. And so I tore off some tape that I'm gonna to use to tape this down to the board so that my watercolor doesn't crinkle. And I'm gonna take this tape and go on my pants or my shirt and lift up a little bit of that fuzz that's on my pants or shirt so that um, it doesn't tear the paper when I try to pull it up. I'm gonna use the border that was there from the cardboard and I'm gonna set that down and then again I'm gonna take that tape on my pants or my shirt line it up with the border on the bottom here and then do that same thing on the right side here And then do the same thing on the top of this as well. And that way, like I said, your watercolor stays down. Um, we are gonna, so you're gonna need some water in a cup like this. And then you're going to always have some paper towel with you whenever you do watercolor. Because if you make a mistake with watercolor, it's really easy to blot it up if you catch it right away. But if you have to run to the paper towel dispenser and get that paper towel, sometimes it's too late. So if you have it right with you, it makes it a lot easier. We're gonna just use this pan watercolor here. And you can do mixing in the trays right here. And so I know most of you are familiar with that. Um, the brushes that we were using are um, what are called oval mop brushes. They soak up water well for watercolor. There's actually specific types of brushes for watercolor. Um, the bigger the brush, the, lar um, the bigger the area you're doing. The smaller the brush, you're, you're working on smaller areas. So keep that in mind because you don't want to use too big of a brush for certain areas. Um, I'm going to start with the background first. Um, and I'm going to do the background around, I have some fish here, the turtle, um, the coral. So I'm going to lay down some of that. Um, I want to do a blue color and I'm going to kind of use, start with the medium type brush because I've got to go around some areas. And like I said, you can mix up paint. So if I wanted to mix this blue and I wanted to add, mix it with this other blue. I can make my own kind of blue here in the upper part of my tray. Watercolor is meant to be light and transparent. And just a word for advice here is you can always get darker, but it's harder to get lighter. So really start off nice and light, and then you can build up your colors. And the nice thing about that tape, it's going to create a nice border for your watercolor. And then I can pull my brush around that fish that's here. And that fish I wouldn't do until this blue is dry because otherwise those colors with watercolor tend to bleed into each other. So kind of keep that in mind. And you can layer colors with watercolor, so I can layer different colors on top of this. So right now, essentially, I'm laying down what's called a wash around the background. So that's going to be my first step, is start with your background first for your watercolor. And then we're going to layer and build colors all over the top of it. So like I said, um, Think light and transparent. You can always build up your colors. As you go. So I'm just, there's another fish over here. I'm gonna go around that. And 
if you have too much water, I'm going to go right into that fish. So it's a, this happy balance of not getting too much water so that you have control to go around the different objects. So that's our first step.